Yo, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Elda. And you already know, if this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. You already know. And in order for you to be my cousin, I need you to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and then I need you to hit the bell, okay? And then I need you to light up the comment sections with hashtag DieCousinGang. Yes, baby. And then my cousins that's been rocking with me, I appreciate you, cousin. What's up for me? I love you. I love you, but you already know how we get down. We be like, welcome back. Back. Hey, back. Back. Hey, back. Back. Hey. So. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I'm ready, right? It is so tight. As y'all can see, little Missy is home. Why? Because her school is closed for another 14 days. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord. So, with that being said, because I already know that lighting gonna let me be great. So, you already know how we get down. Go get my phone, hurry up. All right, y'all, sorry, but Y'all, cook and chat with me. Okay, y'all, listen, my top of my head gonna be cut off. I don't have this camera properly set up, but y'all already know for me. Y'all already know, all right? Y'all, I kid y'all, no lie. It has been rough. But I'm still hopeful, and I'm still full of faith, okay? I may not be able to pinpoint what God is doing, but I trust what God is doing. Okay. When God says be still and know that He is God, you just you just gotta be still. Cause baby. Building yourself up, beating yourself up like that. You know, like it takes a toll. And last night, I broke down. Okay, y'all. Your cousin broke down last night. so overwhelmed I felt like it was just too much and I really had to I really had to um let me get y'all set up right okay I really had to cry out to God last night because it was just that much and I was getting no actually before that sorry all right so before that I was um you know I was getting a lot of headaches last week and to the point, I was so paranoid, I kept rebuking um, like brain aneurysm because, you know, and I was just like, and I'm talking about the headaches were bad to the point that the back of my, um, to the point that like the, the pressures in the back of my eye was so intense. And I had to be like, okay, daddy, what's going on? Because, you know, like, I ain't ready to die. All right, let's be real. So then, you know, I was like, okay. And 
Y'all, I legit thought I was gonna die, okay? Cause one day, I picked up my, it was a Sunday, I picked up my daughter from school, and um, yeah, I picked up my daughter from school, and then I, uh, So I picked up my daughter from school, no, from her dad's house, because it was a Sunday. So I picked her up from her dad's house. My head was banging, y'all, so I told my baby, give me a second, you know, I'm gonna tend to her, get her bathed, get her showered, you know, all that fancy stuff. And so I said, let me lay down real quick. I kid y'all no lie. When I laid down, I was like, I felt like, I felt like, I felt weak. And I'm like, okay, God. Now, I'm not the type of person that deal with high blood pressure or anything like that. So, y'all can only imagine what was really going through my mind. Okay? And as I was laying there, I remember my daughter came in the room. And she asked me something. And while she was talking to me, I felt like I was going in and out. Like, in and out. Like, I don't know what was going on. So, I then was like, okay, God, not now. Like, you know, I really legit started to say, God, like, not right now, please. And... And then... So I asked, you know, I was like, okay, God, please, not right now. And I felt, you know how it is when the bread is in your closet for a while, you just feel like it's just no good. But then you don't know how long it's been in the shelf at the store. I'm having one of those moments. It don't smell bad, but... I can't even find the expiration date. All right, I think I'll just use regular bread and just throw this out and get new ones because. Mm -mm. So yeah, so then I felt like, so then my daughter, when she left the room, I felt my eyes rolling back. And y'all, instantly I began to, like in my spirit, I began to, you know, cry out and pray to God. And, you know, I'm just like, Lord, I started repenting. I asked the Lord for forgiveness. Your girl was not playing. You hear me? Your girl was not playing. So as I began to repent, you know, uh, I felt, I felt a, a peace come over me. I felt a peace come over me and y'all, I was just like, Lord, not right now. <laughs> Lord, Jesus, not right now, I think I'm gone. But then God um, automatically began to speak to me. And God began to um, affirm and reassure me that he's with me and he began to reassure me 
that he got me, okay? And then in that moment, Angela, here's your breakfast, baby. Let me show y'all her breakfast. You taking care of what? Three babies. Your three babies. My dog. The babies. Okay, but your breakfast is ready. This is her breakfast. Eggs, bacon, and some fruit. Here you go. So, and God began to reaffirm me. God began to um, reassure me that, you know, he was with me and that he got me. And he was letting me know what was going on with my body. And because of the... Um, because of being overwhelmed, because of worrying and stressing, all that was taking a toll on my body and that he needed me to relax and let go. And then I was just like, you know, God, I hear you. So at that moment, he was just like, you know, take a nap. So I lay down and I just took a nap, you know, and then he was just like, be still and know that I am God. And y'all, like y'all heard me say, God, be still and know that you are God. I struggle with being still because you know, I got to be productive, God. Like, you know, help, you know? So, um, So God began to, um, you know, it's just a peace came over my body and I was just like, you know, God, I need your help with being still because oftentimes when we're not able to locate, pinpoint, trace what God is doing, it gets frustrating. You know what I'm saying? Your, your faith is being stretched. Your obedience is being stretched. You know, every part of you is just being stretched, okay? But you still gotta be still and know that he is God. And what I'm learning is, don't do anything extra. God don't need no co-pilot. Don't do, don't do anything um, extra. Don't put any more stress on yourself. Who are you? You can't add, neither can you take away from your day, right? We over here keep trying to do it on our muscle. And God is trying to show you who he is. Remind you of who he is. Now who God is to me, God may not be to you. Or you, you, everybody has that core relationship with God. Okay? Whether he's your healer, whether he's your provider, your redeemer, your strong, your tall and strong tower in whom you take refuge. You know your relationship with God. That, there's this one thing that nobody can tell you nothing when it comes to God because that is your relationship with God. Okay? And one thing I know, you want the TV? Yeah. Okay, go get your phone. Okay. 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 One thing I know when it comes to my relationship with God Yes. You're welcome. You know your code. Give me. Give me the phone. No, you want the phone. She see me recording. But I lost where I was, y'all. Yes, one thing I do know is, you know, nobody can't tell me anything when it comes to God as being a Jehovah Jireh, okay? When I say God is a Jehovah Jireh, God is a Jehovah Jireh. Now, I may not like, or you may not like on how long you gotta go through that season or what you have to endure in that season. Um, you know, especially when you feel alone, you know, you feel like there's nobody you can turn to and, it, and, and you also, the insecurities and the things you got to deal with in that season. Like, I feel like crying, but I feel God. 
okay? And y'all know me, I'm always gonna be transparent, okay? But, you know, it's like, in order for you to see what's in you, you have to be pressed. You have to be crushed. When you look at how grape is made, they, the um, wine is made, it's, it's a crushing of the grapes. It is a crushing of the grapes, okay? And when you look at diamonds coming forth, it's in a rock, okay? And the pressure, the amount of pressure that it takes just to get that diamond out, all right? How do you expect to know what is in you? How do you expect to know the worth of your oil? How do you expect to know the strength of your anointing if you do not want to go through anything? When you look at the fruit of the spirit, the fruit of one of the fruit of the spirit is long suffering. Is long suffering. That means you're gonna go through. Here. Go sit down. You're gonna go through. You are going to go through, okay? Nobody is excluded from that. I don't care how anointed you are. I don't care how holy you are. No matter what, we are going to go through the tests and trials. We're gonna go through the persecutions, okay? We're gonna go through it. But it is all to show you. It is all to mold you. It is all to shape you for what God is getting ready to do through you, especially if you are called or chosen because I truly believe that there's some people no matter how bad we try to run listen it's like it's like it's like you know the, the the little thing that they got for the parents when they in the mall the little um the little um fanny pack that has the leash on it for the kids like i, I just feel like we we be running in place because no matter what god hand is on us god hand whether you choose to acknowledge it or not but it's two things it's two things it's either you keep running and you hit a brick wall or you keep running and you continue to go through until you tired of going through and you yield and submit okay or you just yield and submit before it gets even further because you don't know what is your belly you don't know what well of the belly is your well of the belly the belly's well, but you get what I'm saying. So y'all, I'm just like, okay, God, be still and know that you are God. Be still and be of good courage. I'm going to need your help. But I need a peace, God. I need a peace that surpasses my understanding. Once again, I can't even function in Uber how I want to function in Uber. Why? Because my daughter's school is closed once again. Once again for 14 days. And I needed to maximize this week and next week. Okay? But he says, be still and know that he is God. So for me, my cousin, I don't know what, what season you're in. I don't know what you're going through. I was not even going to do cook and chat with me. Because I didn't want to come before y'all any kind of way. Okay? But be still and know that he is God. Be still and know that he is God. It's okay to cry. It's okay to go through the motions, but do not dwell there. Build yourself up with the word. Build yourself up with worship. And remain in the posture of prayer. Because I know for me, I'm just going to be consistent and continue the rest of this fast. 
I'm gonna finish this fast draw because my church were fast for 21 days, but your girl been jacking up. Mm, praise the Lord, somebody. I repent. But uh, I know the last seven days I'm gonna finish out strong. But do what you have to do fast, pray, seek the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And trust Him. Because one thing about God, His word does not come back void. So if this has truly blessed you and encouraged you, I need you to go ahead and hit thumbs up, all right? And if you do have a prayer request, go be free to go ahead and comment below. If it is personal, hit me up on IG. Hit my DM, DM up in IG and send your prayer request. But we would, I would definitely be praying and we just gonna trust God together. We gonna be still and know that he is God together. We're gonna be of good courage together. All right, love y'all, be blessed, be encouraged, and remember you, you have victory on every side.